Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good to uh, go back to somewhere you played before. Uh, you kind of know and are accustomed to how things are. The coaching staff, a couple of the players, and, you know, mostly the fans in the city. It's it's, it's going to be a good time this year. Oh yeah, yeah. They uh, they got arguably one of the the best fan bases in the in the league. You know, London and them. Um, the strength of our crowds. Uh, we try to feed off of every game. Um, and, you know, there are booster clubs that support us on the East Coast, you know, throughout three other teams and cities we play in. So, you know, our fan base is really good. They support us on and off the court. And, you know, it's really a, a big family at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. We uh, we lost a lot of close games last year. So that, uh, that tells you something about our team. We're in the game. We, uh, we just didn't close out some games that we should have. Um, but, you know, again, I think it comes back to having a you know, training camp together, uh, for the group of team, the group of guys that are going to be on the court all year. So I think bringing in uh, everybody who is probably going to be there all year is going to is going to help in the long run. So those close games, we all know what each other will do. We know what the coaches want. So I think um, that's something that's going to help this year. But last year, yeah, the close games got us. I like to think so, uh, but you never know, right? So uh, my game kind of just my game is is what it is. Um, I like to, to be that leader on the court and off off the court as well. So uh, regardless of what coach wants of me, I'm going to still play my game, the type of game that I, you know, am accustomed to playing. But you know, as as far as roles are, as far as roles are defined, uh, I don't think we have any established yet, and that's obviously going to come with uh, practice or a few week long training camp. So everything will be uh, etched out then. But I like to think uh, I'll play a bigger role this year. Personally, you know, I would like to be an All Star this year. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know, last year, um, I wish, you know, we could have got a chance to play in an all-star game as a league, but, you know, things were how they were. But personally, I just want to, you know, be the best I can, you know, really play and shoot the ball a lot better. Um, I know I can shoot the ball really well, you know, get my assist numbers up, and that just goes with uh, our team's chemistry and, and our team's success. But first and foremost, it's just winning. That's, that's what I'm really focused on. I, I like to think that you know nothing really can rattle me. Um, I you know I do I do what I want to do out there. Not saying anybody's going to stop me. Obviously, you know, defense is going to be there. But you know I like to think I can get to the you know places on the court and do the things for my team that uh, that I want to do or need to do, uh, regardless of who's out there. So it's just uh, it's just that self confidence that you need to have on the court. Um, and the belief that uh, you know anything is possible. Really, you just do what do what you do, and you know you practice so much. I don't I don't see why you can't do it in a game. I like to think that it might uh, bring more of a sense of awareness and a more or more driven you know approach to the game. Um, you know, you're not doing it just for yourself. Now you're not playing solely for you know Tyler Murray. You're playing for your family. You're playing for you know the little ones. And the little son that I have now looking down at you, you know, looking at you every game. So it's just, it's just going to be, you know, and I'm thinking right now it's going to be, it's going to be a lot more, you know, a driven approach to the game. So I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to having uh, my son on the, on the sidelines every game. So it's going to be amazing.